Good afternoon and welcome to Spotlight on Business. I'm J. Michael McCoy for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, and of course this is uniquely Urbandale. My co-host, Janice Wissanan, is here, and uh, maybe you can help us out for a moment. We're debating. We're debating if funner, F-U-N-N-E-R, is a proper use of the word more than just fun. And you say yes. Or more fun. More fun, but funner. <laughs> Are you sticking with funner or do you want to move to more fun? I want to move to more fun. That's a good girl. All right. <laughs> uh, she is the membership director for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, and I would strongly encourage you to sit down and talk with her. The benefits of being a member. I'm a member. The benefits of being a member of the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce is, well, you just have no idea. Uh, Urbandale Chamber of Commerce is not your daddy's Chamber of Commerce anymore. When I belonged to Chambers years and years ago, there was not much benefit except just contributing and networking. But now Urbandale Chamber of Commerce has so many other ways that you can make money, save money, and meet great people. And one of those great people I'd like you to meet is with us, uh, with us in the studio today, Kayla Thompson. She is a shelter insurance agent. And where are your offices? Uh, my office is on 100th Street, okay. across from Casey's, north of Douglas, like around the corner from Homemakers. Okay, good. Now, um, I understand what brought you here is unique. You're not you you you're buying this agency, is that correct? Yes, I'm taking over this agency. Okay, from and, a previous agent. But you're not from here, right? No, I am from here. I've just kind of done all different sides of insurance, and okay. now. I'm kind of on the selling front. So tell me what other different sides. I started out in underwriting um, for commercial trucking. Okay. Uh, did that for a couple years, then moved over to employer benefits. Did you start working when you were like 10? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I started working when I was 17. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then employer benefits, um, just for a brief period of time. And then I got hired on at Shelter to become an agent, and I absolutely love it. What do you love about it? I love being out, meeting people. Every day is different. Um, it's not your nine to five job where you go in and sit in a cubicle all day. I'm out and about, I'm in the community. I love the chamber events. Um, just the opportunity to meet great people and establish relationships. Did Have you ever been to a chamber event where uh, Janice plays uh, the concert piano? Did no, you know? I haven't. Oh, she is like, she's like, who's that really, really good? Liberace. Do you know who that is? Yes. She's better than Liberace. She is I did a, not know that. She's, if I had a, an organ or a piano right now, you're going to have to bring in your, your piano and show us sometime. Sure. You won't do it. Yeah, I want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it. So who, uh, who was one of your mentors? I would actually say um, my mentor just growing up and learning about her would be Rosa Parks. Uh, she was very influential in the civil rights movement, and what I love about her is her bravery. Um, what she did specifically with the bus movement, not wanting to move to the back of the bus and staying and standing up for what she really believed in. And to me, that says a lot, no, not only about a woman, but about her character. And I've always looked up to her. You're a tough girl, aren't you? <laughs> you are. <laughs> Um, and that's a compliment, by the way. Thank you. So, uh, favorite movie of all time? Favorite movie of all time would be The Swiss Family Robinson. Oh, yeah. I had that on VHS and would rewind it and rewatch it probably multiple times a week. Wore it I out. loved it. I love the adventure in it, and I'm an animal lover, so I thought it was so cool when. They got like the ostrich and the zebra and we're trying to ride it. <laughs> so did you have the DVD now? No, I still have the VHS. Oh, is, I, it's on Netflix. Is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, good. I, I know that because about six months ago, I actually watched it. I love that movie. Cold winter day and I just went to Netflix and oh, I like that show. <laughs> so are you a pet person? Yes. Dog or cat? Dog. Oh, good. Yes. How many do you have? I don't have any right now. I actually just signed up to volunteer at the Animal Rescue oh, League, though. Good for which you. Which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> uh, Tom Colvin and his son uh, uh, run an extremely well-run Animal Rescue League. Highly mm -hmm. respected across this country. So it's a great place to yes, volunteer. I am very excited. But why don't you have one? Just with time right now, I want to be able to devote a lot of my time okay. to a pet and I don't want it to be at home. Well, what about one of those little purse puppies that those superstars? <laughs> I kind of like bigger dogs. Oh, okay. My parents have a miniature pincher and all it does is bark. Yes. And <laughs> and 
and. Um, so um, if you could spend an hour with anybody living or dead, who? Rosa Parks. Really? Yes. What would you ask her? What was the first thing you'd ask her? I would ask her how she got to the point where she decided to take a stand. Was there a specific event that had happened or was it just gradual? What got her there? And then what kept her there? Now, you obviously weren't alive when this happened. Yes. <laughs> how did you learn about it? And do you remember when you first learned about it? Um, it was sometime in grade school okay. when I learned. I don't remember what grade what it was specifically. About. Yeah, yeah, but that really stuck with me. Yeah. Uh, don't tell me uh, his or her name, but you have a best friend. Yes. What do you like about that person? Their honesty and loyalty. Okay, and that's important to you. Yes. And that's probably what you also are as an agent. Absolutely. Yeah, honest and loyal. Absolutely. Make sure you're there when they need you. Because it's really true. Uh, our insurance agents are only important to us when we have a disaster. Mm -hmm. And they can either come in and write the check, or they could be a shoulder to cry on. And, oh, by mm -hmm. the way, here's your check. Yeah. I bet you're the first, aren't you? Oh, my gosh. You're there to yes. make them feel better, and here's your check. Yes. All right. Uh, you've met Kayla Thompson. She's a shelter insurance agent. Her office is at 100th and Douglas. Uh, are you in that little strip mall that sits right across from Wendy's? Um, I'm actually just a little bit further north. north. Okay. Yep. I'm um, next to the Snap Fitness. Okay. You're where Taco John's is in that area. Across the street. Across the street. Yes. All right. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Congratulations Matt. on your success. I hope you're incredibly you. successful. All right, girl. Tuesday mornings, 9 o'clock, the best coffee in Urbandale. And uh, when's, your, when's your big concert? Big concert? Yeah, your piano concert. Because <laughs> I, I know the people at Remans. I could rent a piano and have it brought in, and you could, like, put the tails on, yeah. the black, you know, and you whisk them out when you sit, and then... Bum, 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 bum. You could do that. You know, I think we should probably more talk about the Urbandale Craft Beer event coming oh, up in June. You're going to play be for a, that? They'll, they'll be a band there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're going to play in the band. <laughs> Tell me about the Craft Beer event. Craft Beer event, June 13th in the afternoon. It is an adult-only event, and there's going to be a lot of food vendors and craft beer to be able to take advantage of the different tastes and also to purchase if that's something that you want to take home with you that day where's it at it's at walker johnson park oh just what we were talking about there, yeah right? so june 13th yeah walker johnson craft uh beer taster and this is for people who brew their own beer the different companies yeah that are around yes yeah yeah if you brew it at home you can't bring no. it out no mm -hmm. no all right and if you're uh, <laughs> thinking about getting your business involved in an organization that will build your business save you money, and here's the big kicker, make you money. Call Janice. Think about joining the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. That's it for today. Spotlight on business. I'm J. Michael McCoy for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, uniquely Urbandale.